news tonight now about the death of a Pulitzer Prize winning photographer and the wounding of another reporter, reminding the world that the codes of war do not apply in Afghanistan. Once journalists were usually granted a kind of immunity while working on the battlefield, but ABC's Mohammed Leela now tells of the new risk and one woman's legacy. They're the gripping images she dedicated her life to capturing. Compassion in war. A young boy releases a kite. This marine grieving for a fallen friend and a newborn baby so delicately wrapped in a burqa. Now Anya Niederinghouse's camera is soaked in blood. She and AP correspondent Kathy Gannon were in the back seat when an Afghan police officer walked up, yelled, God is great, and opened fire. Anya died instantly. We spoke with their interpreter who ran to Kathy after she was shot. But the only one thing that uh, she repeated and repeated, she said to me, don't move, uh, stay with me, don't move, stay with me. It's part of a spike in violence ahead of tomorrow's key election, the winner deciding if American troops stay past this year. The Taliban have vowed to disrupt the elections, disrupt democracy. And now there's a new fear. They're targeting journalists covering them. It's a danger Niedering House and Gannon knew all too well. Now the pair who risked their lives to tell Afghanistan stories have become the latest tragic story themselves. Mohammed Leela, ABC News, Kabul.